Okay, YouTube, in this video, I'm zoomed in on the, the screen, and the purpose of this video is basically to set the resolution of these scales. Um, the reason I got you zoomed in is because uh, most of the work's going to be on the screen. I am running this with some dial indicators set up. I'll take a picture of that just to show you what I got going on. Uh, but I don't think, I think that's less critical that you see what I'm doing here. I think it's more critical with what we're what we see on the screen. So, uh, just to recap on my scales, all right, my z-axis scale, which is going to be y-axis on the on the board here, it is a five micron scale. The one back here, the one up here on the cross side, the higher resolution scale, it is a one micron. The reason why I got the higher resolution is because I prefer to run in diameter mode. Uh, that will we'll set that up at, at the next video. But how I'm going to set this up is just you know where what this moves on on the on the indicator reflects what we see here on the screen. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move uh, the x-axis uh, 0.1. And we'll see what we got on the scale to see if the resolution is set up correctly. Okay. Alright, so you look up here on the next axis, 0 0.1004. But you know, this is on this is a, a tenth indicator or a thousandth indicator. So uh, that's, that's correct on that resolution there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the exact same thing to the x-axis, which is labeled Z up here. We're going to turn that at 100. Okay. Overshot it. Quit overshooting it. Okay. It's just shy here on the needle, but, you know, that is incorrect. So, oh no, there we go, it's correct. Okay, so we got a thousandths right there. I moved a thousandths off the dial, I got a thousandths there. So, this is the way I received it. My understanding is, is that whatever scales you order, they will set that up for you. But let's just say they, that it doesn't. What do you do? Okay. So what we got to do is we got to go into the uh, into the menu here. I mean, you start by hitting this S button here. All right, and that takes us to the familiar area where we set the, the direction of the X and uh, the different axes. So I'm going to go down here until I get to what it says set parameter. Want to hit enter. Then it's going to ask for your password. If you have not changed the default password, I assume it's the same on all of them. It's 3211. Okay? If you change it, put in your password in there. So then it comes up here to X, Y resolution. That's where we want to be. So we hit enter. All right? And this right here shows us our resolution. So for the Z axis, we had a one micron scale right here. So that's set up at uh, 0 0.001. Okay. And that the Z axis is five micron and it's set up at 0 0.005. Okay. So let's just say you aren't getting the correct measurements. How do you fix this? Well, how you do it is you select the axis up here with the arrow here, and it goes to a blinking screen. Then you do the up or down arrow, and as you can see, it changes the resolution of the scale. These can be the scales can be brought in several different resolutions. So I'm back at where I started at here, at 
And then if you need to do Y, obviously you just hit the Y. When you get out of there, just hit the CE button. Okay, once you set that, what you want to do is come over here and hit the clear and clear and clear out till you get back to here. I always recommend starting at zero, zeroing them out, and then just rechecking what I told showed you before. So I hope that information is helpful. I will uh, my next video I'll put to, uh, together how do you set the resolution uh, set up set this up for diameter and radius mode.